Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Wagon. Today we're going to be talking about the Sport Wagon and overall how it's a pretty solid built ride. Not a lot of issues we all have to deal with on a regular basis. However, there are a couple reoccurring issues that many of us in this community have to deal with over time. And we're going to be looking at one of those today. The specific issue I'm talking about today is the non-ideal grounding of our spark plugs due to stripped out bolts that hold in our coil packs that are also used as grounding points for those spark plugs. Now we're about to jump into that right now, but there are a couple other things I want to celebrate and talk about with everybody and then we'll get into today's install. All right, I will make this super quick, but there are a couple important things I need to share with you guys and celebrate with you guys, and then we'll get right back to the install. So first and foremost, uh, back in September of 2024, I left my job that I had for the past 11 years, um, and it wasn't because of any drama or anything specific. It was just I personally needed a reset in my work career. I'm not going to say life. That's too big but um and it's been fantastic originally i did that thinking i'd be able to take some more time to create content for this community and this channel um and then i just ended up using it for exactly what i had said i was going to which was for my family for my mental health and for me to figure out what was next for me uh, and then throughout that process i've started doing exactly that and building what my new and future income stream will look like, which is me doing marketing, consulting and video production assistance for a wide variety of small and medium sized businesses right here in where I live, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And it's been a fantastic journey so far. But in that time, because I did not get to create content and uh, more items for the dad wagon and for the community, um, you guys still came out to support me in a wide variety of ways. And we made it to some pretty incredible milestones when it comes to this channel. Um, so first and foremost, we reached 5,000 subscribers, which yes, in the scheme of YouTube, that doesn't seem like a crazy amount. However, it's taken us a long time to get here. And that's a really important milestone uh, for me personally. You know, reaching 1,000 was awesome. Reaching 2,500 was awesome. But 5,000... Uh, you guys are choosy with the channels you sub I can't talk subscribe to, um, and I appreciate every one of those. And I know it's not uh, it's not an easy milestone to reach. Most channels quit after getting monetized after like fifteen hundred. Um, and while we, yes, I've taken breaks, we're still going strong, and uh, I hope to continue to do that. So let's celebrate that. I don't know how this works. <laughs> There we go. Nice. I have a lot to clean up now. Um, we also made it to 1 million views, which again, yes, the top YouTube videos make it to that in like two days or less. Um, but 1 million views is just an insane number. And finally, uh, just recently, I got a notification that we made it to 50,000 hours of watch time, which I think is my biggest metric that I like to look at. Um, and that is the equivalent of if one person was watching the dad wagon channel on repeat for almost six years straight. So, um, thank you. That's all I wanted to say. So I appreciate you and, uh, let's get back into this install. All right. So I just recorded this and I didn't hit record. So we're going to do this again in this video. There's really two main things that we're going to be doing, but they're very closely related. So we're treating it as one video and that is installing new spark plugs as well as an EQT grounding kit, uh, spark plugs. So the reason why we're doing that is because it's been about the time I need to do that. It's been about 15,000 miles since I put in my new turbo. Um, and I also started to run into a couple issues when getting on the throttle. I was running into some EPCs or getting limp mode in my car. And I thought it might be gas related, but I pulled out some spark plugs and found the issue. 
pretty directly. Two of the four had broken porcelain or um, ceramic thermal jackets that go around the electrode, which means when that breaks, it goes into your cylinder head. So luckily I caught that early. I got a boroscope out and looked inside each of the cylinder heads and were, it was able to remove those pieces of ceramic, um, getting a little creative with how I did that. I documented some of that on my Instagram as well. Um, so these new APR plugs, which I'll talk about, don't have a protruding uh, thermal jacket, which should help reduce cracking and breaking, um, and are also a heat range nine, which matches what I had as well. And then next, this EQT grounding kit, what it does is it relocates the grounding location for each of your spark plugs to one dedicated spot in your engine bay versus using the bolts that hold in the coil packs. The reason why you would want to do this, and I've experienced it firsthand in my case and a lot of others have as well, is since the bolts that are holding in your coil packs serve as your grounding locations for each of your spark plugs, if you've changed your spark plugs a lot, change your coil packs once or twice, what you'll notice is if you're not super careful with how you get them out, you'll start to actually rip out the threads of the, in the aluminum block and then you get a wiggly bolt and ultimately a bad grounding location. So by moving it to a dedicated spot and replacing those bolts, you can improve that. So I'll try not to go too deep here with that. We'll talk about it as we do a quick install. All right, let's start with installing these spark plugs. So first remove the engine cover. Then we're going to take a 10 millimeter and what I'm showing you here is how I ground this one down because you need it to be really thin to get to the bottom bolt and hold that while you take off the top nut on these ignition coil bolts that hold them in place which are also those grounding wires which we were talking about in the intro. So we're going to take the top nut on each of these ones off all the way and then you can proceed to move the grounding wire and remove that and place it to the side of each of those. Now we're going to remove the harness and there's a small clip you're going to push up on and then slowly wiggle them up and back until the whole thing can come off. There is another connector up near the intake pipe that I'm also removing in order to be able to flop that out of the way. Now, continuing with the 10 millimeter, we're going to take off each of these ignition coil bolts and you can remove those fully and then we'll pull out the first ignition coil. So I like to do one at a time as to not expose each of the cylinder heads uh, at the same time. I, you could pull out all the coil packs, but I also like to remember where each coil pack went. Here I'm using a specialized magnetic spark plug remover socket. That makes the job way easier. So we'll pull out the old one and now we're going to throw in the new one. There's no anti-seize or anything like that needed. Some people like to use it, but APR as well as most spark plug manufacturers don't suggest using anything. And here is my hair in the way. We're going to reinstall it. Super simple, super fast. Just make sure you get the torque specs right. Now we're going to go through and repeat that process for the other three cylinders. All right, so now we're going to start with the install of the EQT grounding kit. And this is what used to be referred to as the pro kit but it looks like this is the only kit they now are providing on their website so if you're getting it, it should look something like this now because my hair and my head got in the way a lot i would recommend using the instructions that came with your eqt kit um, but also i'll try and help you along so the first thing we're going to be doing is opening up the plastic harness that connects to each of your coil packs or your ignition coils. By doing this, then you get access to each of the connectors. Using a small pick, we're gonna use it to slide these fuchsia or purple colored clips out of each of the harnesses. This will allow us to then de-pin that harness. 
this little deepening toolkit was provided with the EQT kit and this you can use to slide in and disconnect each of the current ground clips that are installed on each of these harnesses. You simply push it in until it's bottomed out and then you'll be able to pull out the ground of each of the harnesses. So here I'm going to take the EQT kit and kind of map it out in my engine bay. So we're going to be taking the ground section over to a grounding post which we'll show you near the end of this install. And I'm just making sure that I have the right wires going to the right clips based on their length. So now you're going to take each of those wires and reinstall them or install them where those previous grounding clips were located. You'll be able to push them in fairly easily. They take a little bit of strength, but if you just push gently and make sure they're aligned properly, you'll be able to get them in there pretty easily and they'll bottom out. Now we're gonna reinstall everything and get it locked back up in its plastic housing. I made sure to take my time so that way each of the wires was not kinked or bent and also was traveling the right direction within this harness. Overall, it's a super easy process though. Now I'm going back in and reinstalling each of those purple clips. They're pretty easy to get back in there. You'll just want to listen to make sure you get two clicks and that's how you'll know they're fully installed. Now I'm taking the new bolts that were provided by EQT to replace the existing ones that had the grounding attachment. These ones are circular as compared to the triangular ones that came with your BW from the start. The main difference between these, instead of a 10 millimeter, I believe it's a T25 Torx bit. Now we can go back in and reinstall this harness onto each of the ignition coils. Push down until you hear a click. Here I'm routing the new EQT grounding end through my engine bay, kind of however I saw fit to the grounding location, which this is a dedicated grounding space or grounding bolts within your engine bay that has multiple spots for grounding currently, at least on my car, only one was being used. Um, so I'm going to route the EQT kit and ground it right here. There's a plastic clip that needs to be pried open. You can do this while it's bolted. I found it a little bit easier to unbolt it first. And this just helps you organize anything that's being grounded in this location. You can see after I opened it up, I replaced it in that spot. And now I'm locating the EQT grounding kit wire right there. And then replacing, I think it was an, another 10 millimeter nut that uh, holds it in place. So that wraps up that install. Overall, both projects were super easy to do. Spark plugs on our cars are super easy to do if you have the right tools, specifically that spark plug socket. You can do it no problem. The EQT kit, also pretty easy to install. There's a few, you know, the hardest part is really using the pick to get some of the different plastic parts apart. But easy to tackle and the EQT kit makes it super super easy. I think it's under 200 bucks and uh, well worth it, especially if you're already experiencing some of those issues or if you just don't want to experience those issues in the future. Um, last thing I'll say again is thank you to those who have been watching these videos from the beginning. It's been, like I said, roughly five years. Thank you and uh, Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll continue to have a few more videos. But no, I'm taking my time and making videos whenever I have something new to tell you about versus just always posting stuff. So thanks and I'll see you soon. Three, two, one.